in the one volume Atlas of Anatomy. High-end graphic art is combined with rich didactic knowledge. Divided by sections of the body, the atlas presents the essential structures of human anatomy. The human body is revealed gradually, from the bones to complex structures, such as muscles and tissues. Karl Vesker has produced anatomical drawings together with another illustrator, Marcus Foll, for over 10 years. Vesker, who is a painter, and his colleague provide an unequaled abstraction of the human anatomy in respect to standardization, precision, and style. Where pencil and sketchbook ruled in the past, today computers dominate, from the first sketches to the finished drawing. The book's authors are three renowned American anatomists. One of them is Anne Gilroy. When I first saw these illustrations, I thought these are beautiful, they are lifelike, they are useful for the students. I think this, this atlas with these beautiful illustrations will be something that students will enjoy using just simply because of the beauty, not to mention because of the context of the book. Illustrators and preparators reveal the human body in different ways. Karl Vesker explains. A preparator goes the opposite way. He must uncover the structure from the outside, but must already know a lot about anatomy at this point. We, on the other hand, take the path of understanding from inner to outer, layer by layer. And one also finds this method in the book. Our approach to knowledge is also reflected in the sequence of pictures. We start with the bones and the higher structures resting upon them, and then even more complex structures are discussed only when the reader's knowledge is far enough advanced. Brian McPherson, who contributed the head and neck part, among others, explains how it works. We would take the bones of the neck and then add to that the muscles, and then we'd add to that the various systems, the nervous system, the arterial, the venous, and the lymphatic systems. And this is a very different approach. And then finish it all off with some surface anatomy. So the journey from the, from the depth of the neck to the superficial region of the neck is actually seen system by system. And then everything is applied together in a topographical overview before we talk about the surface anatomy. So the student can see it either systemically or topographically. Even for an illustrator in the age of computers, older sources of inspiration are important. Therefore, Karl Vesker looks at what influential colleagues before him did in work that always reflects the style and taste of the time. That could be, for example, the famous anatomical wax figures from Vienna. And the illustrator was able to capture an extra special treasure on eBay, the anatomical depictions from the Encyclopedia of Diderot. The book that Wesker holds in his hands is an original edition from 1776. With Lawrence M. Ross, we're once more in the present. He wrote the thorax part, among others. To use my own words in that regard is the illustrations were, uh, were spectacular. They were extensive. They illustrated clearly the key features of anatomy that we would like our medical students to become uh, not only familiar with, but adept with. The Atlas of Anatomy from Tima Medical Publishers is available from the summer of 2008. Also for students, there are flashcards in the free study aid, winkingskull.com. And for faculty, the Tima Teaching Assistant, which allows all the illustrations to be imported for use in class. Watch out for the Winking Skull.